The one who says he abides in him ought himself to walk in the same manner as he walked. 1 John 2.6 And I hope that you are walking in the same manner as Christ has walked. Um, despite the awful world we live in, it's very hard to do that. But I pray that you are and you're holding steadfast to the faith. So, welcome back to the Road to 2K training log. Um, we'll keep it brief as much as I can on the training and then we'll get into the meat of the video. This first day was supposed to be the shirted bench day and it was um, technically. Uh, still put it on but um, with these mono hooks it's really you know um, not good for benching in a shirt from what I found. I'm not a fan of them and my guys aren't either. Um, speaking of the two dudes you see sometimes, um, the crew, if you would say, where have they been? Uh, Cody has been kind of doing some prep work for his garage that, uh, that they're building. And Hunter has been having to take over some um, concrete pours in the middle of the night. So he, you know, he might have a 2 a.m. concrete pour and um, you know, he'll probably come home and sleep a little bit. And it's kind of if, if, if he'll come that night or not. Um, so, and, and my own schedule is, is pretty crazy having to, uh, be in a different department right now at work. Um, so anytime we can actually be together and train, it's, it's really great. So, uh, other than that, um, with these mono arms, I did actually drill another hole in the rack. Um, because before, if the mono arms were too high, um, you, I've had to unpin my shoulder to get the weight out. So it's like, you know, if it wasn't already awful enough, now you have to make it be more awful to get the weight out. Um, and then if it was too low, you know, you're almost kind of doing like a three quarter um, uh, tricep extension kind of thing. So, and they're already just really weird to, to, to bench with anyways. I'm not, I'm not a fan of them at all. And I think, you know, maybe doing raw, it would probably be a little different, but sure to benching, not, not good. Uh, on this day, I actually did blast up 529, but of course I did not record it. Uh, I think this last one was 441, and I did move my grip in. Uh, I was doing index finger on the rings, now I'm doing middle finger on the rings, and it feels pretty good. Um, now we're going to the dynamic day right here, and as you've seen in the videos in the past, or maybe this the past video, I've had to combine my dynamic days um, just for scheduling reasons and just because I want to try it out. Um, and that's that's really only the core exercises that I'm combining. I'm not doing you know, the accessories combined. Um, and I, I think it's going pretty good. So on this day, uh, we did this camber bar front squat. And this variation is teaching me that I have to stay in position the whole entire time, especially off the box, because if I you know, kind of rush the box like right there, I want to get pushed forward um, and then you know when it's in position it feels really good and that's it, it comes off the box great and I don't have to kind of fight for that position again um, so I'll definitely probably be running these again in a dynamic wave I might even do a little uh, max effort uh, day with them um, I'm sure the guys will love that uh, this is also raw too I, I feel like putting the briefs on would kind of been made it even more challenging but um, might do that might do that next time uh, of course, <clears throat> um, after this, we did deadlift uh, nine sets of one uh, with the red bands. And then after that, did uh, bench with the red minis on that as well. And then moving to the last day, it was the max effort day. Um, it was a max effort good morning um, for two with chains. Um, of course, I did a little deadlifting after that. Um, and you know I've, I've i've talked about my deadlift quite a bit these last few videos and i man i mean i just need to get better and i need to get stronger at it i think really it's just getting stronger at it um, these last six months i've been kind of just experiment experimenting with um with you know positions and and you know what's going to work the best for being in the suit um and i think you know 
when I was making the pro most progress in my single ply lifting days was that um, the technique I had there was making the most progress. And so I think I'm just gonna have to go back to doing that. And there comes Cody and this day he showed up uh, right on time. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. So this is still road to 2K. That's still the goal. The only addition I have to that would be that I want to total 2K in the elite category. And um, in RPS, that just means that I have qualified with a 1940 total in the drug free category or the amateur category and that I am able to compete as an elite. And there's really no difference um, except, you know, you get drug tested. Um, it's supposed to be after a competition. Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to do that. I think with, with amateur division, they're supposed to do it if you break a, a world record. So um, anyhow, that's that's kind of like the my new kind of agenda that I'd like to kind of accomplish. Um, and you know, when you say elite, you're like, oh man, this guy's like elite total. And it's like not, you know, <laughs> really uh, an elite total. Uh, that's just kind of like their verbiage that they use. And you know, I, I really like RPS, man. I know a lot of people hate on RPS. Um, I think what people call it, a meme federation, <laughs> like uh, APF and, and um, I think it's also called the WRPF, um, a meme fed, but uh, which is kind of weird. Uh, usually these are the USAPL dudes that are saying this because of course, you know, they are, they live on the high and mighty rock that is the USAPL. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, that's, uh, it's another topic for another video, but, um, that's how I got into the sport RPS. Um, a lot of my memories are with RPS and, um, River City guys host some really great meets. Um, kind of reminds me of my Iron, Iron Mafia days with them. Um, put on meets with them and stuff and but uh guys i hope you have a great day evening or night um and i will see you on the next one